Good morning. How are you guys? We uh, wanted to get on here and just give you a little instructions for today because what we're doing, we um, did in class together and we wanna make sure you guys are prepared and feel comfortable with this activity. So today, um, this is not posted yet because this is before the day you'll see it, but you are going to work on this activity, Parallel and Perpendicular City. And when you open it up, it's gonna look like this. So you are being tasked today with creating a city and we're gonna do that in Desmos. We are going to use a table, we're gonna use order pairs, we're gonna use equations, um, and hopefully you'll have a little fun with this. So when you go to Desmos, you are going to see just one singular graph. So when you log in, it'll be just this. There's just one slide for Desmos. So let's look at the first one. It says the community is planning to put a park through points, da, 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 plot the outline. So if you recall, um, we can put ordered pairs in a table and we can connect those, those ordered pairs. So let's go back here, five, negative eight. If you wanna be pausing the video and doing this on your own, um, that would be great too. Nine, negative three, 14, negative four, and eight, negative 13. So you'll see those ordered pairs over here and we want to connect them. So we're gonna go down here to lines, we're gonna click that on, and then you notice that it doesn't close the park. We want it to be enclosed. So we're gonna go up over here and add this first ordered pair again, five, negative eight. And there you have the park. Now we wanna label the park, so we're gonna find an ordered pair. So let's say nine, negative six. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna put an ordered pair, nine, negative six. And you can see right here, I can label it. So the park's supposed to be green. So I'm gonna make the label green as well. I'm gonna label this park and press enter. And you'll see here, I don't really want this dot. So I'm going to unclick and it'll put it right in the middle. Something else that you can do is you can turn this drag feature on and then you can move the park wherever you would like, okay? So let's look at, um, we're gonna skip number two. So number two is the same as number one, you'll be fine. Number three, number four, and number five are all similar, but we're gonna go to number five because it connects to six. So number five, we're gonna plot James Street. You notice up here, there's nothing to do, but for here, James Street, we wanna know the slope of the line. So when I go to this equation, there's a missing one right there, right? So the slope of the line is one and the B value is five. Now I don't have to write the equation because I'm already given the equation right here. So I'm gonna fill this table out as I go. And you can see this opened in Cami for me. Hopefully you're able to do that in Cami as well. Um, let me clear that, okay. So let's go over here. We're gonna type in Y equals X plus five. And there you have James Street. Now James Street is supposed to be orange. So I'm gonna click orange. Boop. And then I wanna, I wanna title it. So I'm gonna find an ordered pair. Um, again, you can drag, but there's a perfect point for me, negative 15, 10. So I'm gonna go down here, negative 15, 10, 10. And I wanna label that James Street. Oh, sorry, negative 15, negative 10. There we have it. And I'm gonna make that orange as well. Again, I can drag and that way I can move, obviously you can move it anywhere, but it needs to be on the street. And then we want you to unclick it off as well because it'll go right over the street. So the rest of them, some of them are like James Street where you're just gonna have the equation and you're going to plot or type it in and it's gonna put it on the graph for you. But let's look at number six. It says first street is perpendicular to James Street and through the point negative nine, negative four. So we have to, we're gonna review just a really quick review of what, Sorry, I'm trying to get my whiteboard up here. Um, 
a quick review of parallel and perpendicular lines. So I don't know um, if you remember, hopefully you remember from a while ago, that parallel lines are do not intersect, right? So parallel lines are like this. They don't intersect. There's a special reason why they don't intersect. Does anybody remember why they don't intersect? Those aren't perfect, but imagine that they're going to never intersect. Okay, and then the equation is the special reason that they don't intersect. I'm trying to find mine. And, oh, well, we'll have to do without. Okay, so let's say I have y equals 3x plus 4. Okay, so I have James Street, which was y equals x plus 5, but I'm just doing this as an example. So this has nothing to do with the part or the city right now. So if I wanted this line, I want to write a line that is parallel, I need to have the same slope. So you might want to write some of this down or leave this up um, as you're doing it, okay? So I want the same slope. So this one has to be three, okay? It has to be three. Now, the y-intercept can be anything else. It can't be four though, obviously, because that would be right on top of that line, right? So um, this might be six, could be negative three. The tricky part is though, we need this line to go through a specific point. So that's where this connects into marble slides. We're gonna have to be adjusting this y-intercept to make sure that it goes through the specific point that's needed, okay? So back over here, when we go to First Street, we need to make sure that this is in, well, excuse me, this one's parallel. We need to make sure that it's the same slope as this, but that it's also going through the point negative five zero. Okay, so let's just look at um, perpendicular also quick. Okay. So perpendicular, does anybody remember what they look like? So they're like this. And they create something very special right here in all of these. They create four right angles, okay? So those are perpendicular 90 degree angles. And what do you notice about this line? This is doing what? It's decreasing. This one is increasing. So we know right away that one is going to be positive and one's gonna be negative, right? So they're gonna be opposite Again, we're still talking about the slope. So it's gonna be opposite. And then do you see that this one might go down one, down two over one, whereas this one's going up one over two. I messed this up yesterday in class too. Um, so let's think about that. If one is doing this and one is doing this, does anybody know what those are called? If we have one half and then all of a sudden it's two over one, does anybody remember what that is called? It's the reciprocal. Okay. So has to be both of these though. So let's practice a few. What if I gave you, whoops. What am I doing? There we go. What if I gave you the slope eight? Okay, if I give you eight, what's the opposite of eight? Negative eight, but then what's the reciprocal of eight? Well, this is eight over one, so it'd be negative one over eight. So this would be the new slope. So I would type in y equals negative one over eight x, and I need to adjust this value to get it through negative nine, negative four. So I would go ahead and plot that point just as a point and then adjust this to visually see how to get it through this point. Now, once you have that, we can get rid of that, right? We don't need that point. Then we would just, or we could use this point to label this new line. Okay, so just to review, if you're writing a parallel line, it has to have the same slope. If, you're, if it's calling you to do a perpendicular line, you're gonna do the opposite in the reciprocal of whatever it's asking you to do the perpendicular of. 
So look at First Street. Let's look at First Street together. I don't know what that is. Where is that? Hmm. Every time I log in, there's a new, um, a new location, a new place on my background. Okay, so right here, James Street. We already had that this was one. And we have this was five. So if I need the perpendicular slope to James Street, what am I gonna do? The opposite and the reciprocal. Well, one over one flipped is just still one over one, right? So we have negative one. Okay, and then I don't know the B value because I need to adjust it to go through this point. Once I get it, I'm gonna come over here and write Y equals negative one X plus whatever my new B value is. Okay, now here, if it has to be parallel to First Street, okay, well, I'm going, going to the slope of First Street. What does it mean to be parallel? What would this slope have to be? And then I need to go through negative five zero to figure out what the B is and rewrite my equation over here, okay? So those are the only things that you, you'll have to make a table, which we went over. These three, four, and five ones like this, you're just putting it in and labeling it. And then seven, six and seven are examples of where you're gonna have to draw or you're gonna have to write the line on your own, okay? Now, once you get down to 15, it's just questions. So if you do your map right, really all we should have to grade is 15 through 20, or excuse me, 15 through 18, because we'll be able to know if your map's correct, if these answers are correct. And of course, please follow the colors because that's how we will grade your map. It'll make it a lot more simple if it's color coded. All right, so just a reminder how to put these points on. We found a point on the line. We labeled it James Street. I unclicked it to put James over it. Okay, and here, same thing when you build your high school, you're just gonna find a point over here. You can estimate, put it in, park. You can hold it, click draggable. So then you can move your, um, your titles everywhere, okay? So email us if you need help. Um, if you need to Zoom, obviously we're available anytime after 2.05. Um, and just a reminder that there are only like five school days left before exams where we will be seeing you that aren't Wednesdays. So I guess for you guys, that's Wednesday is the same as every day, but um, please get any of those missing assignments taken care of that are in the grade book. The grade book should be updated when you're watching this video. So if you have any questions, please let us know. But good luck and hopefully you guys have some fun uh, making this city. See you later.